All right. You got your fresh fit for the first day of school. You got your lunch. You got your backpack. And hopefully you have a comfortable spot on the couch. For more than 50,000 students in Seattle, school starts at home on Friday. Welcome to your new school year. While some students around the state are back in actual classrooms, the largest school district in the state is not, something Seattle Public Schools says isn't feasible right now. The district was still um, contemplating a hybrid model that would have had as many as 30,000 people in our building in a physical distancing environment that would have used every square inch of our school buildings. Fred Podesta and others say the district is still developing ideas on how to welcome all students back. Important, we want to understand how our buildings were um, situated for that and then think about you know, how people move through the space, how they enter the space, how we will, um, there were a confirmed case, how we um, keep functions as separate as possible. So if there is a need to do contact tracing or or close down a particular operation in a building, we don't necessarily have to close everything down that goes on in the building. Joel Berg says they're also adding more support for parents. We're uh, trying a new idea. It's called a pop-up resource center for technology. And we're opening those up on September 14th in um, eight locations throughout the district. She says they use data to pick the locations based on need, and they will assist parents and students with software and other technical issues. Friday at Rainier Beach High School, there will be a drive through barbecue from 11.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. to welcome the incoming freshman class. District officials will be there, and there will also be stations set up to guide students in. I'm Tony Black, King 5 News.